Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues when it comes down to Android apps just not installing on your Android device. Now this is one of the best things about Android is to install software but sometimes it doesn't work and I'll show you two different methods and how to fix it and chances are by the end of this it's probably going to end up being fixed but when it comes down to this the first thing that I would recommend you doing and it's a very easy thing is to actually make sure you have enough storage saved on your device. So as you can see there's a lot of different ways this little error comes up typically it's something like app not installed or whatever the case is typically this ends up being a storage you know error most of the time now the second thing i'll get into in a second so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have enough storage on your device as to the apk that you're installing so if you're installing a humongous apk that's like seven gigabytes or something like that you want to make sure you have like seven if not more gigs saved on your phone so you can go and install it so what you want to do is you want to go into your settings you want to scroll down until you find some sort of storage settings on Samsung and other phones. It's sometimes a little bit different. So right here, I guess it's in a really weird panel, but you can see that I do have enough storage saved on my device right here. So if I try to install that APK, chances are it probably install, but you want to go into your internal storage settings or your micro SD card settings, and you want to make sure you have enough storage on your device. If for some reason you don't have enough storage, then this can cause you know a ton of problems. So what you want to do is you want to save as much storage as possible. You want to delete apps, you want to delete any videos or images or anything that you don't necessarily use on your phone. And you want to go ahead and delete those things from your phone itself. And then what you want to do is you want to try going back and reinstalling that, I, that APK. So you want to go into the Files app or wherever you were installing that APK file from originally. And chances are, as of this point, it'll end up fixing the issue. You know, if you go ahead and try to install that APK, as long as you have enough storage, that will probably end up fixing the issue in and of itself. So that's the very first thing I would recommend doing is to clear out as much storage as possible and make sure you have enough storage in your device available as congruent to basically how big that APK file is. Now that's the first way of doing it. The second thing that I would recommend doing is if in case you know you're getting a lot of these little pop-ups, apps not installing, you know, APK not installed or app not installed just like this, Typically, if it's not an internal storage problem, it may actually be the APK file that is, you know, corrupted or there's an issue with that APK file. Now, typically, this comes down to a lot of different things. First of all, if you're, you know, using an APK file that was made forever ago, tant like if it was from like Android Ice Cream Sandwich or something like that, and you're trying to reinstall it on your device, you may not be able to install it because, you know, Android has changed throughout the last couple of years. And also it's the exact opposite. If you are using Android Ice Cream Sandwich, but you try to install an APK from that just came out, you know, it's not going to work out properly. So you wanna make sure that you're using APK files that are, you know, necessary for the same exact software that you have. If you're on like Android 9 or above, or even Android 8 or above, and you try to install an APK file, you're probably gonna be okay. Now, if that isn't the issue, then the next issue, which is still pretty insane, is if the APK file is corrupted. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons as well. If you try to install an APK file from a random website, and for some reason it's just not installing properly, well, you may have not installed or downloaded the full APK file, maybe the download cut off randomly, or maybe even, this chance this happens sometimes too, the APK file that was updated was corrupted from the get-go. So maybe the person who updated the you know APK file, maybe they didn't upload the whole file, maybe it was corrupted, maybe it didn't transfer properly, whatever the case is. And so you try to install an APK file that had most of the directories and all that data inside of it, but didn't have all of it. So in that case, what I would recommend doing is searching for another APK file of the same one that you want from a different website. So if you use you know a certain website, you can just type in like Temple Run APK, install a different APK file, and that will probably end up fixing the issue. Typically, it comes down to those two things, an internal storage issue, or you know maybe the APK file itself is a little bit messed up. So that's exactly how to fix those specific situations. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.